Every now and then, a photograph captures the world's attention. This time a year ago, it was the body of a small boy in a red t-shirt washed up on a Turkish beach. The boy was Alan Kurdi, a four-year-old Syrian refugee. He certainly wasn't the first nor the last child to die during the dangerous sea crossing to Europe. But he became a symbol for the desperation facing all refugees. But was it anything more than symbolism? And in a world saturated with pictures, does a single image still have the power to bring about change? Natalie Pohernan takes a look. Thousands of refugees have drowned on their journey to Europe. But one death stands out. Alan Kurdis. After five years of conflict in Syria, this little boy's image shocked the world. As a father and as a human being, you can't help but be moved by these terrible pictures. Seeing the picture of that poor child on the beach in Turkey, those images will remain with all of us for a very, very long time. But the question you have to ask, not just as a father, but as a prime minister, is what are the actions we can take that will really make a difference? The UK cabinet agreed to increase its Syrian refugee intake. But a year on, the vision of another young child, this time in Aleppo, became another symbol of Syria's lost childhood. Images like these are powerful enough to stop us, shape opinions and lead to questions. They linger, like the girl on fire and a man facing imminent death at the hands of a South Vietnamese general. An iconic moment defined the student protests in Beijing's Tiananmen Square for the outside world. Pictures from Ethiopia suffering drought in 1984 led to global awareness and some help did come. On September the 11th, 2001, many photos captured horror and resilience and were used as a rallying cry for action which still resonates today. But in a world of so many images, does one photo still have the potential to change history? Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers. Well, joining me now from New Jersey is Tom Franklin. He's a multimedia journalist and a professor at Montclair State University. Thanks for joining us, Tom. What do you think of the sort of long-term impact of a powerful image such as the body of Alan Kurdi and whether that can actually lead to some sort of tangible change? Well, certainly a photograph of a dead child uh, washing up on the surf of a beach is a very upsetting image, not only to parents around the world, but to anybody, you know, with a heart. And um, that was a very upsetting image, a very difficult image to look at. But these are the types of images that photojournalists record to tell stories, to tell the important stories of our time. And photographs like that, photographs that show death that in that manner, are important for people to see because the Syrian, the Syrian crisis is a story that big and it needs to get people's attention. And it's hard to believe a year has gone by and mm -hmm. you know, the fighting in, in Syria rages on. It's hard to believe a year has gone by. It's hard to believe 15 years have gone by since 9-11. And you had one of the most memorable pictures of 9-11. Um, eight hours after the attack, three firemen with an American flag, they took it off a yacht and raised it in, in the wreckage. Uh, it was called the most memorable flag raising since Iwo Jima. Um, how much of an impact do you think that had 15 years on, on the world and, and perceptions of that uh, traumatic and momentous event? Well, I think the picture became very popular because of 9-11 being such a horrific event, yet this was a photograph that didn't show planes crashing into the towers or people falling from the upper floors. It showed a, a picture of three firemen uh, raising a flag, and the symbolism of the picture is pretty clear. You know, it's a symbol, the symbolism of patriotism, of strength, of resolve. And I think that's what resonated with people. And what was interesting about this photograph was that it was used uh, on a U.S. postage stamp and in other ways to raise money for victims of that tragedy and raised over $10 million, which is an extraordinary number um, and speaks volumes to the notion that uh, you know, a photograph can be very powerful and can um, bring about change. Looking at it from another 
direction, perhaps, with Alan Kurdi. You have this young boy, um, you know, washed up on the beach. One of the major arguments, uh, arguments against accepting refugees in Europe was that most of these people are young men who are benefits scroungers. They want to come for benefits and so on and so forth. And uh, this flies in the face of that because you have a picture of a child and this family sort of risking their lives trying to make it escaping uh, the civil war. 9-11 as well, you have a lot of the photography, for example, of the Pentagon debunking some of the 9-11 truthers, right? They said, oh, it was, might have been a rocket that went into the Pentagon. Uh, but then you have hundreds of photographs of the fuselage and the engine and so on and so forth. So might there also be a great importance in terms of setting the record straight, setting the historical record straight and fixing um, misperceptions about a, a major event? Well, look, virtually everybody today is a photojournalist to a certain extent. Everybody, virtually everybody, posts photographs on social media and they're doing reporting. Some, you know, substantial reporting and others are inconsequential, but they're still doing reporting. Professional journalists, professional photojournalists uh, have a standard of ethics and responsibility that goes along with their reporting. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Uh, I think it's pretty clear what happened on 9-11 um, and the photographs support that and document that and that 9-11 was perhaps the most um, it was documented in the most extraordinary extraordinarily way by photojournalists uh, both in New York and in in Washington the pictures from that day are were extraordinary considering you know the circumstances uh, were so dire and you know photographs like this child washing up on shore the photograph of the young boy in the ambulance which was in the news quite recently. These are important images. These are important images for people to see, to get people's attention. You know, people here in the States might say, oh, Syria, it's over there. Turkey's over there. It doesn't really impact me, but yet it does. And um, these lives matter. And these photographs are really important for, to get not only get people's attention, but to set the record straight. Tom Franklin, good to talk to you. Tom Franklin joining us there from Montclair, New Jersey.